Welcome, today we're gonna make rice stick noodles with pork tenderloin and vegetables. So, I have the red pack here, and if you turn around, it tells you what kind, what color of your package is, and it tells you how many minutes. So I have the red one, so mine is five to six. See, red pack. So, put your wa water to boil. Once it's boiled, we're gonna put our noodles in. And I have my meat here, which I'm going to trim and cut. And you're going to need some olive oil, lemon and pepper, roasted garlic and pepper, some pork, clubhouse, and oregano for the meat. And we're going to put a teaspoon of each. And then for our noodles, we're going to put soya sauce and sesame seed oil. Okay, so I'm going to wash my vegetables now. For our vegetables, I'm going to use a uh, sweet onion and different color of uh, peppers, whatever I had in the fridge, whichever colors you like. And vegetables, you can add how much you want. Okay, now once you took all the fat off, you cut your meat, and you see this is these are nice and small. Because I need smaller pieces. Now these big ones here in the middle, I'm going to take them and I'm going to cut them in smaller pieces. Okay. So you can cut them a little bit smaller than this. In half. So away we go. My spices are all in my bowl. I'm going to mix them up. My meat is cut. You see how small they are? Because I'm going to saute everything. And we're going to add our spices. And we're going to add some extra virgin olive oil about uh let's see here about three to four tablespoons we're gonna bless it and we're gonna give it a nice mix and put it aside until we chop up our veggies make sure everything is well blended you cut your peppers the long way and then I cut them in half okay there you go and then mix them all up any color you want vegetables all chopped up meat is ready and I'm just waiting for the water to boil and put my noodles in water is boiling we're gonna add a little bit of salt And open them up spread them out five to six minutes remember this is a red pack these are pure rice sticks gluten free and everything delicious okay open them nicely freely Make sure your water's boiled though. While they are boiling, we are going to put about three to tablespoons of blessed with olive oil and put our meat in. Saute it halfway through. about three minutes. Add your vegetables. So for the vegetables, just a little bit of salt and pepper because the meat is already spiced. Saute the vegetables al dente. And we need to 
can add a little bit of garlic if you like. So if you don't like, you don't have to add it, but it's nice. We're gonna put about a tablespoon of um, sesame seed oil. And about two tablespoons, up to uh, your taste for soya sauce. Some people like more, some people like less. So I'm just gonna put a little bit and then whoever wants can add it. And now mix it up nicely. So I was supposed to rinse them out and I didn't rinse them out with cold water. I didn't read the instructions, so I have to do redo them again, right? So what I did is I put them under cold water again and they're not sticky anymore. See? And we're, I'm gonna add some more soya sauce and sesame oil on them because they were too sticky. <laughs> read the instructions. So double the work now. What can we do? Just put as much as you like soya sauce and sesame seed oil. Mix it up nicely. Nice and fluffy now. <laughs> and now time to mix. If you want, you can throw all of everything in your pot, but I, what I'm gonna do, I gotta warm it up now. Put it in and mix it together. So we're all done finally. Turned out good. <laughs> good idea, you see? Things ha accidents happen without if you don't need the instructions. I was wondering why is it so sticky? So cold water. So anyways, we're done here. I'm gonna shut it off. So time to serve ourselves and enjoy it. So enjoy. Always eat it in good health. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless.